I did not sign up for this. To be broke ass poor at fucking 30 years old. You'd be right, you didn't sign up for it. But it might not be what you think it is. The problem might be that you're just trained to be looking in the wrong place. So many people are trained to be looking in the wrong place in our generation. You don't need to be looking for a job. Or I mean, you do need to be looking for a job. You need to pay your bills, but you don't need to be thinking about a job as your way of life for the next 40, 50 years, God, God hoping. There are so many people that are looking for jobs, looking to be workers, corporate jobs, whatever, whatever the case. And it's just Turkey, not are you enjoying it there, right What's for them. Turn? It's not where they should be looking. They, 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 again, you have the job because you need to pay your, your fucking bills. Like, that is what it is. But while at the job, while at that nine to five, think about what you really should be doing that is, is, is a future, not just because it makes more money because I mean it probably could that's that's a big one but also because it's just more for you there are so many people I'm probably this is probably redundant I probably just said this I don't fucking remember <coughs> but so many people that just I've I know I've read into that are thinking oh my god I'm so fucked like I am a failure I look I look like a piece of shit because I don't have the right job and they're so not meant for a job they're so meant to be on honestly like movie producers big bloggers photographers youtubers you know other types of entrepreneurship SaaS creators like there's so much that we can do there's so much maybe you should be doing rather than looking for a job you are thinking too small you're thinking too inside the box and it's hurting you and it just anyway I do see, I do see that a lot of, I think, Gen Z, Gen Z is getting so shit on <laughs> for being, I don't know, who, who who they were raised to be. And yet Gen Z, I think, is, is figuring it out. That they can be on Twitch, that they can be on YouTube, that they can do SaaS. They can, I don't really fucking know what SaaS is. Like, I'm just trying to look it up. But this is like a thing that they know about software, producing their own software. <laughs> They know that they can do photography. They know that they can dance on TikTok. They know that they can buy a business. They know that they can do other things. It's more its more millennials um, that, that don't know and are still, I mean, so frustrated. They're so frustrated because even they got the good job. A lot of them, they got the good job and it doesn't pay. Like it doesn't pay I'm not saying you can't make things work and you can't, but I mean, in some cities, like in Toronto, if you get a good job that pays a hundred thousand a year, I mean,
$3,000 a month rent, you know, mortgages for million dollar properties. I mean, it just, the math doesn't really add up or, or at least not long term after you put a kid in there and a spouse and a, so I think that all I'm saying is, is think about it. Whatever you do is whatever you do, but think about doing things differently. I think, I think Gen Z is, I think Gen Z is getting it. And I think that Gen Z was raised in this kind of chaotic, hyper pressure upbringing that they, they realized that if they, like it's the only way that they can escape. Otherwise, they're destined from from birth to, to death to be in this like hamster wheel of, you know, like dance practice that goes from infancy to, to okay, now I'm just, These pauses that I'm taking are commercial breaks because people are walking by. If you hadn't figured that out. Then think about it. There's a lot of life out there. There's a lot of things that we can do. Don't feel hopeless. Don't feel like there are no options. Don't feel like you can't do things differently if you feel stuck. You're not stuck. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.